This should happen to you, motherfucker. Karma will get you all. Karma is gonna get you. Karma indeed is gonna get us. Okay? This is the God's honest truth of the whole story. Okay? I just want you to know the truth. And this is the truth. Of course. So, you know what I love? I love when people tell me, I'm going to be honest with you now. Does that mean until then that they were bullshitting you the whole time? Now they're saying my daughter's a pedophile. She's not a pedophile. The cops just told the ish. According to Alabama law, the age of consent is incredibly important in Alabama. An individual who is 19 or older has sexual contact with someone who is younger than 16, but older than 12 has committed sexual abuse. So, under this understanding and definition, and I am not a legal expert, but as I understand it, Ashley, a.k.a. Lou, would be guilty of sexual abuse in the fine state of Alabama. Wait, did he force you? I mean, did you force him? She says, no! How's that make her a pedophile? How's that make her a pedophile? I understand. He knew what he was getting into when she was gone. The mother knew. The mother knew. His mother. So, if your biggest thing is is that you're saying, well, his mother knew. His mother knew. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with her getting charged, too. That also might explain why Dylan's not willing to come forward. I'm completely fine with basically if her mother facilitated a 15-year-old having sex with a 21-year-old, that there be some kind of fine and or internment of some kind be put on Dylan's mom. In addition to Ashley and Lou, not instead of. Of course. The dad knew. So this is what I mean. This is not fair to Ashley that people... I'm standing right here. Hey, Petty, come on. Come on, is this right? Yeah, it's absolutely right. 21-year-old slept with a 15-year-old, which, again, as we demonstrated in the fine state of Alabama, let's take a look at that one more time, just to make absolutely sure here, uh, the age of consent is incredibly important in Alabama, and an individual who is 19 years older, uh, our dear, beloved, sweet Ashley Lou, who is two years well over the mark, who had sexual contact with someone younger than 16, 15 is indeed actual, is younger than 16 and older than 12 will have committed sexual abuse okay you know what we'll we'll walk that back you come out here and and admit your your daughter your daughter is a sexual abuser and we will apologize on for myself as well as everyone who was on that show who accused them of being a pedophile my apology is that we called a sexual abuser a pedophile that was gauche the kid's been in and out of a, a mental institution all fucking week. I can't do this no more. I understand. And there we have it. There is your credibility entirely on the floor. The kid, the person that you're referring to, your kid, is 21. I understand that a parent sees their child as just that, regardless of their age. But the rest of the world is not obligated to see your 21-year-old as anything other than someone who as they admitted, had sex with and or legally sexually abused a 15-year-old. Something needs to be done. How can you help us? Is there anything you could do? I can definitely talk to my associates. I can definitely get in contact with them and tell them what's been going on. I can inform them about the conversation that we've just had. and we Please can... do, because, honey, they don't know the truth. Of course. You know? They don't know, but honest to God, on my dead husband, who I love to death, okay, I swear to God, that's the truth. Of course, absolutely. So, full context, there's a, another channel, um, I'm going to have it appear on the screen, it's called Cecil, Cecil, um, I forget the full name, again, I will have the screenshot here. I have given the full extent of every call that I've had with Lou to this person with the only request that they remove the name of the ex-boyfriend that Lou accused of being a rapist that they only retracted later on because it was in their tactical advantage to do so. I I'll repeat that again for idiots like Mother's Basement out there 
this noted YouTuber here who feels that we should always believe the victim, Jeff. Lou here, Ashley, accused this man, that I'm withholding the name because I have some level of tact and common sense, that I did not hashtag just believe the victim, or whatever crazy Tumblr bullshit that was, attempted to get a man publicly destroyed falsely. And now Ashley, after sleeping with, after sexually abusing a 15-year-old, just wants us to let it go. Dear Dylan, we will get back to you, and I'm going to give you the opportunity to come forward before then. And see, now she's crying. And it's not fair for her to feel this way. No, no, absolutely. It's not fair. God forbid she hurts herself. Who do I blame, all you people, for doing this? This is not right. The computer, this is not right that this, these things are happening on here. Of course. You know, you know, there are very depressed people out here today. And people take things to heart more so than other people do. And Ashley has to, ha happens to be one of them. Of course. So we have to help Ashley now. Save a life, honey. Save a life. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Absolutely. Okay. So whatever you could do for us, the Simonetti family, Ashley, myself, and our whole family, please do it for Ashley so we don't hear of any tragedies happening over stupid things like this. I'm, I'm sorry about all this. No, don't apologize. It's fine. I do not mind having the conversation. Can you tell them what the police said? Yes, I can. I will absolutely do that. Because the police, like, flat out told me unless he feels like I raped him, it's... No, and he said it wasn't. Yep. Yeah, I have all the tapes of his mother. When, when we were communicating back and forth on the phone, I taped everything. I understand. So and you know what? I'm not the type of person to bring it to the cops and say, listen, this is what the woman said, and this is what's happening here. I don't want to get into that, mm -hmm. all right? Because we're not mean people. But the way that little Danny talked, you heard him. Yes, I did. Have, first of all, have little respect for your elderly, all right? That's number one. Calm is going to get him. Something bad's gonna happen to that boy, just the way he spoke. And, and Ashley, can I say something in front of your friend? This is what you're dealing with. You heard that boy? Does your brothers talk to you like that? No, no. So why do you have some idiot talking like that? Do you know what Ashley did? She went to and fucked somebody. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Tom is going to get them. Maybe their mother's die of cancer. What they put you through and they put the Simonetti family through, they're going to get the worst, baby. Remember that. There's a God. And God watches over all of us. And he looks down at people like that. Hi, Mom. Just... Maybe he'll get in a car accident. He'll drop dead. You, th you there, sus? Yes. Because that's what happens oh my to God. bad people, Mama. I understand. Do you still think I'm a pedophile? I personally, I don't like using that word. And that's just my personal preference. People can come at me for it. I don't... It's a very strong word. It's a very hateful, spiteful word. I don't like that word. Did I... Did I think your decision was morally correct no but i'm not i'm not gonna I attack you, you for it i agree with you as her mother i agree with you honey i agree go ahead she's right no. what you did was not right but now you got to fix it we all have to fix it it's over with, it happened, it was out there. But there's no reason for these people to call you these names. That part needs to end. Everybody makes mistakes. I made mistakes. 
okay? We're not perfect unless that asshole over there thinks he's perfect, but he's not. Um, we all make mistakes, each and every one of us. None of us, Ashley, are perfect. I've done things when I was your age, but I didn't have friends like that, and we didn't have computers. Today, it's a different friggin' world. It's a different world. What are you gonna do? You gotta be strong and say, you know what? I done what I done, it's over. Take everybody down who's writing these things to you, put block, block them all, okay? So you don't have to read that. They wanna get to you, don't you understand? Just like I got angry at that kid. You see how he wanted to come back and attack me? Because he's going, yeah, we got the mother man, yeah. You know what? I was a fool for doing that because I made him win. But karma will get him. Like I said, maybe he'll die. Jesus. I, I, I understand. I mean, a, a mother's worry never ends. It's, it's very it's a very sensitive situation. I understand your frustration. I told them I just wanted to talk about Monkey and not the 15-year-old. Like, I feel like they lied to me. You there, sus? Yes, hi. Huh? That's what I thought I was going in. I was just confirming stuff about Tyler so I could help him. I understand. I just, w one question led into another and it fell back into a circle of events, so we weren't trying to push you, or at least I wasn't. I just want you to understand. Well then help us. Whatever you could do, honey, please help us. You will be saving a life. Absolutely. I'm a mother, this is my daughter. My heart is going out for her so bad. This whole family is, forget about it over all this. We already lost Audrey. We, I lost one son last year, okay, over stupid shit, over depression. I don't need to ha lose another daughter. Of course, of course. Did you ever lose somebody close to you? Yes, I have. Okay. Did it hurt? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's hurting her. It's hurting me as a parent to see these things go up about my daughter. Hey, Petty, come on. Really? Really? I'm sorry if she keeps like coming in and out. It's fine. It's fine. I, I didn't think this was this would happen. I just wanted to help Tyler. Of course. Like I wanted to answer questions about him to clear things up so he'd be okay. Of course. Well, was there anything that you didn't get to address while the other members were here? Pretty much nothing about monkey pretty much just questions about me and then dylan right is is there anything you you wanted me to relay back to them anything you wanted to say just what the what the cops said the cops refused to talk to them online because they right of course they weren't happy with these people but the cops asked me they said are you like stalking people are you like, raping people, like, under the age of 10, like, they asked me questions like that, and I just said no, and they're like, you're not a pedophile. Right. And they told me unless he feels like a victim and feels like I raped him, it's not a bad situation. Right. You didn't him, Ashley. You didn't force him. He knew when you were going to Alabama. His mother knew. Well, well, his father wait, wait, knew. Wait, his wait, grandmother Tom, knew. I have a video of him saying that he liked the fact that I was 21. But that has nothing to do with it. No, but that is... You Listen to me. Listen to me. And you'll hear it from your friend because she seems like a very nice... A girl with a head on her shoulder. You're not a pedophile. Okay. You've got into this crazy relationship. 
My boyfriend was younger than me too. Okay, I'm, we're not 15 and 21. Okay. Don't make me a pedophile. Well, how old was daddy? Daddy was my age. Oh, okay. You know, this is all bullshit. Mm -hmm. it, this, this is what it, it, it all comes down to. All right? Stupid kids that have nothing better to do. Now, that boy, Danny, I would block him. So he can't put up, hey, Petty, or this, or it's, that. It's or do you know what your daughter... I know what my daughter did. I was here. I was dealing with his mother for a month. Back and forth, back and forth about this whole situation. I did not want my daughter to go to Alabama. Why the, didn't even want to go? But, the, but the mother paid for her plane ticket. Her, his mother, w against me, without me knowing, paid for her plane ticket. So see, you have to know the whole story, what really went on. Yeah, they liked each other, the two kids, they're talking over the computer. All right, you get to like him. He does sound older. He is a cute little kid. She falls for him. And then this thing. It's not that they talked one day. They're talking over a year. I understand. It's not something that happened overnight. Of it's course. nothing like that. The baby. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's gone. If there's anything. Yeah. I'm sorry about her. I told it's you. It's fine. She, she's I'm, really erratic. No, that's okay. She's she's just upset, <clears throat> and that's fair. That she has every right to be upset right now. Like I mentioned, yeah. it's a sensitive right. situation. I guess I just wish I didn't have to deal with this. Well, I I really thought it was just going to be about monkey. <clears throat> well, people learn from their experiences. I'm I'm your age. When I was younger, did I make the best decisions? No, of course I wasn't cuz I was a dumb kid. But I've learned from them. And as long as you learn from this experience and you understand the gravity behind it, you can change and you can get better. It's just the thing is like, I never liked him for being a kid. I really just, like we even say to this day whenever we get in a Discord call that we just have this chemistry that's unbreakable. Like I genuinely love Dylan. I, I didn't like him because he was young. I always right. told him I wish you were older. Like, we just have this unbreakable chemistry to this day. And I even told him recently, like, I don't think we can date Hun. And, you know, that hurts me, too. Right. And we, we did speak to Dylan, just, just so you are aware of that. And Dylan did mention that you didn't like the fact that he was so young and that you were very against it. But one thing led to another, and things just kind of escalated, and they, they got a little out of hand, and that, uh, you know, things happen. And that's why I get so scatterbrained when people are like, why did you do it? Why? I'm like... <clears throat> they just don't understand, hun. It's like I loved him. It's like, that. like, that's it. And... Like, you know, my new boyfriend left me over this. Because he even questioned me. He's like, why'd you do this? I'm like, H how do you tell your new partner that you love the kid? Of course. <sighs> Things will get better. It might not seem that way right now, especially after the situation we've just had but things will get better all right can i go for a bit yeah absolutely i'll be in touch um I i'll will... edge <clears throat> yep i accepted your friend request if you have any questions or you just want to chat i i'll i'll be available all right thank you absolutely
Holy shit. <laughs>